From the moment I came in here, I'd requested the use of my electric chair, which I'd bought with my own money back in March, early March last year. I asked my daughter to bring the chair out of storage in here to me, which she did, uh, but it was denied because of a very inflexible law that would not permit their use in aged care facilities because of risk to hurting other people and uh, that was a terrible blow. I'd gone through the walking stick stage, I'd gone through the ski pole stage and I just could not get around reliably. I needed that chair. A person like me has got no hope of getting anywhere with management here. I'd just get the brush off, so therefore I needed an advocate, somebody with the authority to make the approaches that I wanted to make for my own benefit. It was only possible by the help of PIP from Advocacy Tasmania we had a talk, I'd written an article explaining all the reasons why I should have the chair. It was the, one of the best things ever happened when he came riding in that door with that chair and said, there it is, it's yours. I imagine somebody with their head underwater struggling for breath and they pull their head out of the water, that's what it does when you discover Advocacy, Advocacy Tasmania. Gives you a new outlook on life, that there is help there. At the very first problem that crops up, and it won't be a long time before another one will come on top of that, but early in the piece, seek some help. Contact Advocacy Tasmania because there is the help. It gives you a feeling, a comfortable feeling inside to know that the help is there. <laughs>